huge. Well, it's good. We're here for Bernie, right? Bernie. Yeah. yeah. Bernie Sanders, or as uh, Steve Harvey would say, uh, Barry Sanders. <laughs> I think he's got a real good shot, right? Yeah. Yeah, he really does. Although, uh, I gotta say about Hillary, Bill's been telling all his girlfriends on Tinder to vote for him. I'll be uh, totally honest with you, I, uh, I, uh, I don't know why anybody would want to be president. That job will age you. Mr. Obama came in looking like Denzel Washington, right? He looks like Uncle Ben on the rice box. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Bernie, because he'll get in already looking old. <laughs> so uh, maybe he'll be, he'll, he'll retire young, see? like the waitresses at Cantor's, you know. <laughs> to me, I had a woodshop teacher that looks just like him. Like, he has a kind face like Geppetto, you know. <laughs> At the debate, Hillary's nose grows. <laughs> hey gang, how are you? I'm going to hand for uh, all the people in America that you love. <laughs> Oh, how about Bernie? Do you love Bernie Saunders, guy? He just, the thing about Bernie is just so lovable, right? He's like a plush toy. I, mean, like, I just want a, I want a Bernie Saunders plush toy on my bed. He's got that, that, that fuzzy hair. It's like I, I get the feeling that, uh, you know, somebody went into his house, like a, like a contractor went in, and uh, Bernie was like, uh, one of the few uh, ceiling fans. And the guy installed like nine of them and put them on full blast. <laughs> Bernie walks around his house, his air just blowing all the time. He never has time to comb it down, his perma stuck like that. But it makes him cute, right? He's like, it's like Winnie the Pooh of the politicians is guy. I just love him. And, and I, I would love it if he grew a goatee, because you know that would be white as red. We could call him Colonel uh, Bernie Saunders. <laughs> Hand out chicken to everyone, it'd be a treat, delicious. He could have a he'd be the first politician with his own drive-thru. How about that? Little Bernie. I love him. Uh what a, is everyone voting for Bernie? Is there anyone here? You gotta, you gotta vote for Bernie. He's so cute. He's got that voice too. He's, he, he talks like this. He, he kind of he reminds me of a cartoon character. <laughs> like your, your remember that cartoon when you were kids? Uh, the the ant and the odd buck. <laughs> he sounds a bit like the odd buck. He's got that chin. Everything about him is cute. Even the way he talks. He's uh, he's like a car. Hanna Barbera should be his running mate. <laughs> He really should have a cartoon. He should have like Shaggy from Scooby Doo, right? As his VP. That would be great. It's like, hey Shaggy, what do you think we should do? Like, I think we should go into our act, Bernie. <laughs> like, let's get a pizza and smoke a joint in the White House. <laughs> we gotta have Bernie though, don't we? We don't want Hillary, right? We don't want Hillary. We don't want Hillary. We got ISIS on the loose, or ISIL, or ISIC, chocolate icing. I don't even know what, every day they're a new name, but we need someone. Like, Bernie's got that sense of authority, right? He's kind of got that, that old man thing that we all relate to. It's like, yeah, I trust that guy, I like that guy. There's some strength and wisdom in his age, right? But, yeah, it's true, right? There's like that sense of wisdom, but... But you get Hillary, and she's up there in like a like a turquoise green pantsuit, and I'm like, you know, I picture ISIS coming over the hill and Bernie going, "Hey, why don't you just turn around right now before I turn my ceiling fans on you and roll you back?" Whereas I picture Hillary, you know, ISIS comes over the hill and Hillary's there in her turquoise pantsuit going, uh, "Hi, welcome to Olive Garden." <laughs> Table for ISIS? I mean, we can't have Hillary. I mean, just on her cankles alone. Can we have, I mean, those, I mean, I know, it's horrible, but uh, Now look, at there's someone back here with a wig on their head. Is that like a Bernie Saunders wig, or are you just, are you stolen from the X-Men? I better not have to learn, you're gonna make lightning happen. Is, is that a Bernie Saunders wig? Where did you get that? <laughs> and there's your Bernie. Bernie's kind of a math professor, isn't he? 
it's like, you know, if, if anyone tries to fuck with the United States, Barney's like, uh, you better not fuck with us. I will uh, turn you all into uh, toads. <laughs> He's a mad professor. Thank you very much. Give it up for Bernie, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I never, I never know who to vote for when there's an election, to be honest, but I'm definitely coming around to it. I mean, last time there was an election, I voted for the ones that put the least amount of leaflets through my door. <laughs> I voted dial a pizza. <laughs> See what it is. It's such an honour for me to be here, because you can probably tell I've got an unusual accent. I'm from a little village called England, but it's such an honour for me to be here in a socialist environment. That's fantastic for me. I have that. Obviously in my blood. So we we here for Bernie Sanders, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm a, uh, like he's the only candidate that doesn't scare me. <laughs> so that's a good thing to look at a candidate that doesn't like figure out an exit plan out of the country. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, Bernie's Jewish, which is cool. Uh, I just got back from Israel. Uh, one, <laughs> everybody's like, wait a minute. Thank you. It is, uh, it's an honor to be able to do this. I'm, uh, I'm a supporter of Bernie. I think it's, uh, great to do this. As a comic, I think it's fun to be able to do this show, because you guys are all supporters of Bernie, which means you're smart enough to get jokes. So that's good. <laughs> Doesn't always happen. <laughs> Holy shit, Trump supporters are very dumb. Uh, like, re like, real dumb. Trump came out to try to relate to everybody when he said that he was only lent a million dollars to start his business. That's what he thought would relate to us. He's like, my parents only lent me a million dollars, just like you. <laughs> like, when was that, Donald? 1968. A million dollars in 1968. That's worth 17 million dollars now. You know, just like us. 17 million dollars. Then, of course, there's, there's Hillary. Uh, and now, now, a lot of people have negative things to say about Hillary, but she has supported gay rights for at least three years. So, <laughs> that's like super important. Uh, absolute pleasure to be able to do this. Keep supporting Bernie Sanders. Thank you so much. <laughs> that was every comedy show like that. Uh, cool. Yay, Bernie Sanders. Okay, here we go. You think politicians look at Donald Trump in the same sort of way vampires look at Count Chocula? <laughs> Yay, Bernie Sanders. <laughs> I've been supporting Bernie Sanders since like 2002. I'm old school. I'm not like a lot of the Johnny Come Latelys. Yeah, no, seriously, when it comes to Bernie Sanders, I've become like a hipster music snob. Where I'm like, no, 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 who's my favorite band first? Okay? That's right. I got my Bernie Sanders t-shirt and rattled you while you at a fucking Target. Okay? I've been there. I've been there. I like Bernie Sanders when he was on Sub Pop. That's how long I've liked Bernie Sanders. <laughs> It's an indie record label or something. You heard. I'm proud. We get that one. That's cool. No, I like Bernie. This is good. I hope everyone actually shows up to vote. Yeah. Yeah. Don't smoke weed that week. The week of the primary, don't smoke weed. No, because this is why Democrats lose in, in the midterms. <laughs> right? The midterms, we always get our asses kicked because everyone's like, I fucking share it on Facebook. That doesn't count. No, it doesn't. It's not that. <laughs> no, I definitely want, to, I, I want Bernie to win badly. Especially since I don't know if you heard this. Fox News' own Bill O'Reilly, he said that if Bernie Sanders... I wish every crowd was like this. I didn't got to the point yet. You guys are going crazy. Poor Ireland. <laughs> well, actually, this is what's funny. So Bill O'Reilly said if Bernie Sanders gets elected, he's moving to Ireland. Yeah. Yeah, cheering, I mean, fuck Bill O'Reilly. But I got relatives over there, and they're like, no, fuck that guy. <laughs> Does he not know that everything Bernie Sanders wants here, Ireland has had for a very long time? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Ireland, Ireland made gay marriage legal by actually going and voting. They didn't need their Supreme Court to step in. They actually voted. And I'm not saying that means Irish people love gay people. It means Irish people love weddings. They just like a good wedding, you know? They're like, we gotta vote for something, open bar, fuck yeah, they'll love them get married, the shit. Yeah, why not? Now that's what's hilarious because every election cycle, every single one, Democrats do it too. They say if this person gets elected, we're moving to Canada, we're moving to Europe, or whatever. But at least when Democrats make that threat, they want to go somewhere that has like things that protect the people. You know, they like that makes sense. It just always makes me laugh my ass off when there's a Republican who says, "Oh, if Bernie Sanders gets universal health care, I'm, I'm out of here. We get universal health care. I'm moving." To where? To where it doesn't have universal health care? Where the fuck are you gonna go? Where are you going? Right? Like the only country that doesn't have universal health care is like Haiti. Haiti doesn't have universal health care. And trust me, Republicans aren't moving to Haiti. It's black people who speak French. That's their worst fucking thing. That is the worst combination. Their heads will explode. He said that I'm running for president myself. Listen, I think Bernie would be great, but if not him, me. <laughs> Don't laugh right away. Nice Italian guy from New Jersey running for president who's better than us. <laughs> Come on, you imagine I was in the White House? Just listen to the way I sound. I got great ideas. First thing I do, I relocate the White House from Washington to New Jersey. Who's gonna know where we are? <laughs> Loopholes he'll phase out. B -b 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 Bernie and the debts. Nobody's watching this wonderful. Yeah, Bernie, he's a <laughs> Cause he knows what it's worth. Save the earth. You know I read it on his Twitter feed. <laughs> Bernie Sanders was the first first candidate to talk about police accountability. 
I'm being heard like that person. That's very important to me. Very important. Let's think. Do you understand what it's like for me to get pulled over? This is my new trick. When I get pulled over, it's like, whoop, 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 whoop. This is me in the car. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Don't shoot. I'm already dead. That's all.